So tell me, have you ever been rejected by somebody because you had cats? Lord, this is this is why I'm on Tabby. I have had so many great conversations with guys. I've only been online dating for about a year. Um, and I've had great conversations with guys. And I'm open to guys with dogs. But as soon as they hear I have cats, it's, oh, oh. Oh, like <laughs> you either get the look of shame or you get cats. Oh, you're a cat lady. I just, every single time that happens, it's so discouraging. So when there is a dating app for cat people by a cat person, by cat people, I had to give it a try. <laughs> I love that. But yeah, I think we've all felt the horrible, horrible rejection of, oh, you have cats? Oh, what? Why? I've got, I've got two cats. They're two, two fluffy Persians. And he turned around and said, that's disgusting. And I was like, excuse me? And I was just like, um, it was one of those ones where you've got to make that, uh, make that short, sweet cut exit, like, you know when you need that someone waving that light, like, please exit stage, right? <laughs> wow. Literally said that's disgusting. It's disgusting. He he could not stand the cats. I was just like, you're not even gonna ask if you feel like had a type of cat or or anything. He's just like, they're disgusting. And I was like Well and now you know that that person's garbage and to move exactly. on. Exactly. The ideal guy you're looking for, and take into account their interest in cats and what that would look like as you guys as a couple who owns cats. Uh, yeah, it would be nice if they do like cats. Um, they're like going to concerts. I'm a very concert person and missing them so much right now because of all this COVID stuff. And I don't know, just like sometimes even hanging home and watching movies and binging on Netflix. I'm pretty easy going. <laughs> Of course you're easygoing, you're a cat person. We're the most easygoing people. We're the only ones who can put up with cats knocking stuff off counters. Like exactly. we're, we're super easygoing, right Pickles? <laughs> Look at that. You're easygoing if you can put up with that grumpiness. <laughs> Amazing. Um, yeah, it's that person that would be, would, that would be easygoing, uh, but also have that spur of the moment energy like do you want to just go, do you want to just like go for a run or like not a run, but like, do you want to just go for a walk? Do you want to, do you want to just go, go do something different? Not your, not what you had planned for the day. Um, but also somebody just turn around, you know, they'd look at the weather and go, should we just sack off today? <laughs> should we just sit on the sofa and watch a film, you know? <laughs> or at four o'clock, you know, four o'clock in the afternoon, it's like, is it too early? And, and you know, and they say to you, let's have a G&T, you know, or that kind of, um, just go with the flow, throw something at it and see what sticks. Having kids, I've always told girls, if you're looking for a good dad, go to someone who has cats, not dogs, because dogs do what you want. Whereas a, a cat will knock a glass off a counter and look you dead in the eyes, you know? And the go, what? Gonna, yeah, the cat dad's <laughs> gonna be patient, go over and pet it. Like we're used to putting up, like you think little two year olds aren't gonna give you a hard time? Oh no, you want a cat dad. So it's interesting to see the guy's perspective on that because I've seen a lot of guys with cats ever since then. And I'm like, where are you on these dating websites? It's always man with dog, girl with cats. And it's refreshing to see guys willing to admit they love, snuggle, hug their little kitties. And it's, it's just, it's so refreshing to see. <laughs> well, it's, it's my goal to bring cats to being trendy for guys. I want guys to be like, yeah, I got a cat. What are you going to do about it? So that's the goal. We're working. I hope on so. It. Working. <laughs> Get you. So question. Okay. Here's a question. Um, uh, is how somebody treats your cat uh, a deal breaker for you? Like, do you look at how somebody treats your pet or your cat to see if you're, how you feel about that person or if things are going to continue on? Ooh. Um, I suppose it's like if you if you give them fair warning if your cat's a shitbag <laughs> and, and your cat is genuinely you know and comes over and it will scratch the not scratch the person but you know come over and um need on their legs and they might not like it but it's um i suppose it's 
again, it would show a lot about the character of the person, depending on how they handle the situation. Dude. <laughs> My cats, I, they're literally, you know, you adopt them. And the reason they call it adoption is because they basically become your little small fur children. So I would look at them as if they were my children and if someone treated my kids that way certain ways you know that's the perspective i would take on it is they're basically my kids so if you're not going to treat you know your children that way i mean that might be a little crazy cat person perspective but <laughs> if um i don't see them as as pets per se i see them as you know Roommates, children, you know, you love them. Ideally, are you looking for somebody who has cats or just likes cats? Oh, that, there's that, there's that dilemma, isn't it? Because it's like, you both have cats and what happens if it was going really well and you wanted to introduce the cats, but the cats maybe hated one another. So it's like, if our cats hate each other, does that mean this wig is going to end in hatred or... You know, who knows? It could be, it could go really well, and the cats love each other, or the cats get end hating each other, which then means like, ooh, seeable future until our cats kick it. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> it might not work. They could be the most wonderful human being in the world, but um, but our cats might not get along. So, so you're open to people with cats, but totally, if they just love cats. Gotcha. Yeah, and and if they and if they love cats but don't have any, I'm more than willing. To um to share equal ownership with them, you know. 